Here's the difference between great coaches and mediocre coaches. Great coaches, great leaders realize that momentum is your best friend. And what you're far more concerned about, not the numbers on the scoreboard, but you can feel momentum when you have it and you can feel it when you lose it, am I right? And that is a dangerous thing to lose because getting the momentum going again is a dangerous thing. One of the greatest principles I was given by a mentor of mine around, I got mentors in different areas, but one around physical fitness. His name was Charlie Blake. And I asked Charlie one day, I was in my late 20s, Charlie was almost 50 years old, and Charlie was in great shape. And I asked him, I said, Charlie, man, man, you're in such an incredible shape. How do you do it? He said, let me tell you the secret. I said, what's the secret? Never get out of shape. <laughs> <laughs> Man, isn't it amazing? Some of the most simple philosophies can have the most significant impact, right? Now, here's what I'm talking about for a leader. When you have the momentum, you don't let up. You push the gas pedal down even harder. People typically want to follow a leader who has a vision, a picture of what's in front of them. As a company, okay, Medtronic Diabetes, as a company, as an organization, as a, as a business unit, you have a vision which is great for what you want to do, what you want to accomplish. Here's my question to each individual leader in here, though. What does your vision look like? What does your puzzle piece look like if you went to the people that you're leading and influencing right now and you ask them, tell me, what does our business look like 12 months from now? Tell me, not just in numbers, but what does it look like? What does it feel like? You know, do, do, do you know what success looks like? And what would their answer be? I will tell you, if you did nothing else based on my speech right now, gaining clarity in that will take you so far. Because you'll be amazed what they may tell you. You're like, where did they hear that? When did we talk about that? But when a leader doesn't have clarity or their team doesn't have clarity, there's no alignment. I don't care how talented your team is. In football, when I played football, I was a wide receiver. And no matter how talented our team was, we could be a team full of all pros. But if the quarterback comes in the, into the huddle and simply says, just get open, <laughs> <laughs> there's going to be a problem. You're going to have a whole bunch of people running around going crazy, okay? So I believe that's what you're doing and you're taking care of that. But this is very important when it comes to fear of the unknown. We overcome the fear of uncertainty. We over, overcome the fear of the unknown with making the unknown known. What are the goals? Not only for your business, which is important, okay? And you're working on that. I want to make this a little more personal for you. You may know exactly what your objectives and goals are for the next 12 months, for the rest of this year, 2016, okay? For your business. My question to you, though, is what about the goals you have in the other areas of your life? Because goals are like the weights in a weight room. It's like the fuel in the furnace of achievement. I mean, you, it, so any area of life where you don't have goals, there's a good chance it will atrophy. You show me a marriage without goals, I'm telling you a marriage that's tinkering, even if the two people in the marriage don't want to talk about it. I show you any area of your life where there are no goals, it can atrophy. So as a leader, it's not enough to tell your people, hey, we have these goals we need to go after. You want to make sure as a leader, you're coming from an op authentic place. That means you're talking about things you actually live. There's proof. I promise you this works. Why? Because I live it. That's where your people want to follow. Now, keep this in mind. These are the kind of subtle things that make the biggest difference 